What's up everyone, it's your boy Norn Rad 89 here bringing you another video and for today's video I know it's already probably Halloween for some people in like some countries and everything and all that for for us in like you know America we got till tomorrow like a few more hours and then it's gonna hit Halloween but today I wanted to just do a fun little chill video talking about Scream Factory's new release of Night of the Demons the 4k this is one of my staple watches pretty much every year during the Halloween season I have to check out and watch this film and typically like really close to Halloween it has to be on like the day like the 30th or the 31st that's usually when I watch this movie because it's just absolutely spectacular oozes Halloween atmosphere so today we're going to talk about the special features on this bad boy my feelings on the film like all the nostalgia and why I love this film so much so let's get into this roll it So Night of the Demons came out in 1987. This film is directed by Kevin S. Tenet, and this film just oozes everything I love about horror films. It's a horror comedy film, but it's got gruesome, real practical effects. It's in kind of like the same vein as like an Evil Dead type film, but it's got a lot of possession type stuff, but also some really sexy stuff going on too. And like, yeah, for real, this film has like everything that I really enjoy about horror films it's very like rebel style it's out there it goes balls to the wall it really does have like a lot to love about this film so today we're going to discuss this movie also the release like all the special features that are on here because there's a whole host of new special features that come with this release from Scream Factory. So right away, talking about some of the special features, there's new audio commentaries on here, new interviews, all kinds of stuff right here. I'm gonna pop up a menu showing you what kind of stuff is on the special features right here. So already we have a new 4K scan of the uncut camera negative. Then we have audio commentary by director Kevin S. Tenet, executive producer Walter Jostin, and producer Jeff Joffrey. We also have new See You in Hell interview with writer and producer Joe Augustine, a new Coffins and Cor uh, Contortions interview with Jill Tereste, Halloween party work print of the film, the new Halloween party alternate title card sequence because originally this film was supposed to be called Halloween Party. Then we also have audio commentary by Kevin S. Tenet, Walter Justin, and Jeff Jeffrey again, audio commentary with Kevin S. Tenet, Steve Johnson, Kathy Padwell, Billy Gallo, and Hal Havens, and You're Invited, The Making of Night of the Demons, which is a fantastic documentary that's like a legit documentary. It's about like an hour and a half, hour and 40 minutes long. Interview with actor Amelia Kincaid, Allison Barron's Demon Memoirs, theatrical trailer, TV spots, video trailer, promo reel, and still gallery. So there is a ton a ton of special features on this bad boy and like i said that documentary alone is about an hour and a half an hour and 40 minutes where they dive into really fun stuff like steve johnson like uh, talking to the special effects artist his interview is just absolutely iconic like for real i freaking love that guy after seeing his interview for him because he really did put in a lot of effort into this movie and this is like a film that everybody that was interviewed they have so many positive things to say about the filming, about the process, about the people. It really did sound like an awesome time to be on set for this movie. So Night of the Demons for me has always been a staple watch. I can't really even remember when I actually saw this for the first time, but it's just been always one of those films that I return to every Halloween season. First of all, it oozes Halloween atmosphere, be it that it used to be called Halloween Party. It literally is a Halloween party at Whole House but they had to change the name because Mustafa Akkad was actually going at them saying you can't have Halloween in the title. So they had to change it to Night of the Demons, which I actually think was a positive. I think that's a more standout, more iconic name than Halloween Party and the practical effects, the cast in here. It's just really fun. There's some creative characters, some creative kills, and also the music is just out of this world really one of my favorite soundtracks from the 80s in horror films so in terms of cast we have Hal Havens in here Mimi Kincaid Linnea Quigley so we have a lot of standout really cool fun people and like my favorite one is of course Linnea Quigley she's like one of my horror crushes and having her in here as Suzanne just really awesome Angela is a great character Judy really fun and like watching the special features it's cool to see how 
this film evolved from being some of what it was like when it truly was just an original just an idea to being what it kind of evolved into when they transferred and like you know ported it into like screen and like filming it and everything it just really does like have awesome freaking cool stuff to say about it and Kevin S. Tene, like said for one example with Judy's character she was gonna be her Halloween costume Red Riding Hood but they decided to change it because they were having this film kind of as a possession film demons and stuff and they thought that the red would kind of portray more of evil that it would maybe show judy as a sign of being something secretly evil behind the scenes so they changed her character to alice in wonderland so that way it kind of actually explains some of the stuff that happens in this movie when you don't really understand what's going on that it's like you take it from Judy's perspective where she's supposed to be Alice in Wonderland and she falls into a new world that's very dreamlike. That's kind of really awesome that they decided to do that. This film was actually really ahead of its time too, being that we have an awesome final girl, really underrated final girl in Judy. I think her character is really fantastic. But then we also have Roger, who is a African-American character that makes it all the way to the end of the movie, which was actually in 87 very rare at that point so props to being for this film being a very ahead of its time also in terms of 1987 when this film came out aids the aids crisis was really a big thing in america and this movie being that like the demon gets passed on through like physical contact of like kissing or touching or sexual contact it really did have that kind of you know subplot or like subcontext like thing going on like where you wasn't really being stated but kind of represented but that's really cool because like i said this speaks to its time and this film actually did spawn two sequels there's a night of the demons 2 and 3 and there's also a remake but for me in my book the first film is clearly the best as a kid i used to really have a lot of fun with the second one and the third one like i really do used to support the sequels more when i was a child but now that i've grown up and i've watched them more and more and like as an adult this first film just holds a very, very special place in my heart. And in terms of picture quality, the film has never looked better for real. This film looks gorgeous. And if you're a fan of this movie, this is the way you want to watch this film. So I highly recommend picking this up. This is, you can get this solo just by ordering it by itself or go find it like in the wild. Like I found this at Best Buy. That's where I picked this up. But you can order it online and you can get Night of the Demons 1, 2, and 3 if you order straight from Screen Factory. And you also get additional slip covers and posters as well and i believe that's around like a hundred dollars or something like that don't quote me on it but i believe it's like 96 or like a hundred dollars it's around that price range so yes this is one that i do highly recommend this release because it has a ton of new special features if you're a huge fan of this movie you're gonna love that and also the picture quality this is this film has never looked better so i highly recommend this film because like night of the demons if you haven't seen this film you need to go check it out because it oozes Halloween atmosphere. It's got tons of fun characters. It's got really cool kills and it's fast paced. It knows what it is. It knows what it is and it just gets right down to the point. And like I said, I love having fun with this movie. It's very much a film that you can rewatch over and over and over, especially with a bunch of people and like group of people. It's going to be a ton of fun. So Night of the Demons in my book, this is like a 10 out of 10 film for me. Like there's nothing like... I can say bad about this movie because I completely adore this movie. But thanks for sticking around with me all as we went over the 4K release for Night of the Demons. I hope you enjoyed this video and like I said, have a happy Halloween. And I also got a special video premiering on Halloween. Be sure you like, subscribe, and you have that notification bell poked so you're notified anytime I post a video because like I said, it's going to be a fun little special video premiering on Halloween. I hope you all are excited for that one. But most importantly, I want you all to have a safe, and happy day. Peace out.